Make your video look cinematic in Final Cut Pro with this one simple method. I'll show you how to nail that blockbuster look with five powerful but simple tips, including a drag and drop effect for that sweet teal and orange look. And at the end, I'll share the finishing touch that if skipped, will leave your video looking like a box office bomb. Ready, set, action! I got this footage of a bad boy. He tried to put raisins in some cookies. Lock them up. The first thing we need to do to make it look cinematic is adjust the exposure. Let's change our workspace to working with color and effects. Click on window and go to workspaces and select color and effects or press shift control to to open up the colors and effects. We don't need this many waveforms. We'll focus on one at a time. So click on view and select one and then click on the scope button and change it from RGB Parade to Luma. The Luma waveform shows how much light is in the image and how it's distributed. Down here are the dark parts of the video and up here are the highlights of the video. You want to get the dark parts of your video as close to zero as possible and then the highlights just under 100. Select your clip and go to the inspector over here. If you don't see it, click on this button with three sliders and then click on the color inspector, this triangle. Then click on no corrections and let's add some color wheels. The color wheels are broken into global, our shadows, our highlights, and midtones. So let's start by pulling our shadows down closer to zero. There we go. And our highlights up a little bit closer to 100. This section here is where his face is and you can see it in the color. And skin tone color should typically be up a little bit higher. So let's take the midtones and move those up just a little bit. There we go. And let's add a little bit of saturation. Already that's looking a lot better. So here's before and after. Now this footage was shot with a red camera and there's an actual LUT we can use for this. I'm gonna delete my color wheels and I'm going to go to the effects browser. If you don't see it down here, click on the effects browser button and go to color and then add custom LUT to our clip. Go to the video inspector, click on this pop-up menu, find and select the LUT you want to use. So this is a good start, but I need to do some tweaking to really give it that cinematic look. Go to the color inspector and let's add color board. This is like color wheels, but just a different visual representation on how to make those changes. Go back to the video inspector and put your color board before the custom LUT. That way any changes we make will happen to the video before the LUT is applied. It's really important to get your effects in the right order so that you're working with the right amount of information in the video. Click on this little icon here to go to the color inspector and let's pull our shadows down just a little bit, not much. And we'll bring our highlights up a couple percentage points as well. And let's bring up the midtones just a bit. Already this is looking cinematic. If you're finding this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will find it? Coming up, I'll show you that finishing touch for the ultimate cinematic look, but first we need to fix the white balance in this video. To fix the white balance, we need to use a different waveform. Click on the scopes button and select RGB overlay. Now on this color board, let's take the highlights and push them over here into the yellow a little bit. Notice as I move that up and down, if you look at this waveform, we can see the different colors. We can see red and green and blue separated. And what we're trying to do is get them to all line up, especially in this highlights area here. So we'll just move things around a little bit until we get it just right. All right, that looks pretty good. But now the skin tones are kind of red, so let's fix that. First, we need to add a mask. So go to the effects browser, go down to the mask section and add a draw mask. Go to the video inspector and make sure draw mask is selected and then just draw a rough mask around his face. Doesn't have to be perfect, just around the skin area. There we go. And let's change our scope to vector scope. This line right here is our skin tone indicator. Our skin should be along this line and you can see that our skins are more off to the right hand side and kind of pointing towards red. We need to move this over along the line. 
So go back to the color inspector and let's add a hue saturation curves. On hue versus hue, click this eyedropper and let's select the skin. You'll see it creates these three dots. We're gonna take this one down a little bit and towards the yellow. Look at the vector scope and you can see it moving. We don't wanna to go too far, then we're green. We don't wanna go the other way, we're too blue. We just wanna go down a little bit and over towards the yellow. Just a little bit, not much. All right, that looks pretty good. Go back to the video inspector, make sure that hue saturation is above custom LUT and double check your vector scope. Looks good still. And let's turn off the mask. So here's without our effects and here it is with our effects. Ooh, Steven would be very proud. You can also add a cool till and orange look really quick. Go to the look section of the effects and scroll down till you see till and orange. Just drag and drop till and orange onto your clip and you'll see an immediate difference. We can adjust the amount We can also protect the highlights or the skin and we can tweak the shadows. Let's leave everything as is default. This is great for a quick look. All right, so our clip looks pretty good. Here it is without the effects and with, but it's missing something. It's missing that movie theater look. And Final Cut's got something built in perfect for it. Go to the stylized section in the effects and look for letterbox. Drag and drop this onto your clip and go to the video inspector. Let's move it up here to the very top above all the color corrections and click on show. Let's change aspect ratio to 235 to one. And we've got these cool black bars on here that look like it's displayed in a movie theater, in a cinema. We can offset our image to compose it. Let's move him down a little bit. And you can also change the border size. And then you can change the color of that border. We don't want that blue in there, so we'll just turn it all the way off. So here is the before. And after. That looks so good. Another way to make your video look cinematic or more professional is to use custom motion graphics. I put together a pack of titles and transitions and effects that you can use to elevate your video game. It comes with these cool animated icons or you can do these cool animated social media callouts. But the one I really like that will help make your video look cinematic is this free fade in and out effect. Right now, if you want to fade in and out, you have to keyframe the opacity. But with this simple drag and drop effect, I can fade in to my cinematic shot and then fade out. If I go to the video inspector, I can change how long it fades in for a longer fade in and longer fade out. I can also offset when the fade in starts and when it ends. And I can get a custom look like this. And then a real slow fade out as he contemplates his life choices. <laughs> I want to give this pack to you as a gift. It's worth $138, but I want to give it to you for free. Just click the link in the description below to get the all-star pack and start making your videos look more professional and cinematic. Happy editing.